Hey guys, Brad here, connecting from UB Central, and today I'll be counting down the top five Ubisoft Montreal games ever created. The rules of this countdown are as follows, one game per franchise, and helping me decide this list is Metacritic.com. Not only will I be ordering the games by their critic score, but user reviews from the site will also be taken into account. So without further ado, let's start off the list with the number five pick. Prince of Persia The Two Thrones, released on PlayStation 2, Xbox, mobile devices, and PC. The game was later ported over to the PS3, PSP, and Wii. The meta score of the game is currently sitting at an 85 out of 100 with an 8.5 user score. This third person action game is the third chapter of Ubisoft's classic series, and it begins with the prince returning from the island of time to Babylon with his love Kylina. Instead of the peace that he longs for, he finds his homeland at war and the whole kingdom turned against him. The prince is captured immediately and Kylina has no choice but to sacrifice herself and unleash the sands of time in order to save him. The prince soon discovers that past battles have given rise to a deadly dark prince, whose spirit gradually possesses him. Surprisingly, this game was praised for its PC port, and I can't say the same for Ubisoft's recently released titles. Here we go again. Number 4, Child of Light, released on last gen consoles, current gen consoles, PC, and the PS Vita. The meta score of the game is currently an 89 out of 100 with a 7.7 .7 user score. This platforming RPG puts players in the shoes of Aora, a child stolen from her home. In her quest to return, she must bring back the sun, the moon, and the stars held captive by the mysterious Queen of the Night. Child of Light is praised for its simple battle system that grants diverse battles with many different monsters. If I had to describe the game in one word, it would be brilliant. Ubisoft Montreal really outdid themselves with this unexpected game. The visuals and story are beautiful, and if you haven't picked up this game yet, I recommend doing just that. Number 3, Far Cry 3, released on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. The meta score is a solid 91 out of 100, followed up by an 8.5 user score. Far Cry 3 is an open world action adventure first person shooter. The game is set on a tropical island between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Far Cry 3 also features a multiplayer and co-op mode, however the main attraction of this game lies within the single player portion and the main villain. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Oh, Jesus. Number 2, Assassin's Creed 2, released on PS3, 360s, Windows, and Mac. The meta score is a 91 just like Far Cry 3, but the user score is an 8.6, putting the game right above Far Cry 3. Assassin's Creed 2 is a historical fiction, action-adventure, open-world stealth game. It is the second major installment in the Assassin's Creed series, being the first chapter in the SEO trilogy. The frame narrative is set in the 21st century and follows Desmond Miles as he relives the genetic memories of his ancestor Ezio Auditore. The main narrative takes place at the height of the Renaissance in Italy during the 15th and early 16th century. The player will guide Ezio on a quest for vengeance against those responsible for betraying his family. The primary focus is to utilize the player's combat and stealth abilities as Desmond begins to uncover the mysteries left behind by an ancient race known as the First Civilization in the hope of ending the conflict between the Assassins and Knight Templar. So tell me, what is one thing you learned about the Inner Ancestor's life? Did you even learn another language? Where's the Apple of Eden? Tell me, Desmond! Uh, grazie, eh? One. Number 1, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, released on 10 different platforms, yes, you heard that right, it was even released on an Engage, what is that? 
Anyways, the Metascore is a 94, ranking as one of the highest on the site, and it also has a 9.2 user score. Chaos Theory is the third game in the Splinter Cell series, endorsed by novelist Tom Clancy. As with previous entries in the franchise, Chaos Theory follows the activities of Sam Fisher, an agent working within the NSA. The game has a significantly darker tone than its predecessors, featuring more combat and the option for Fisher to kill people he interrogates as opposed to simply knocking them out. As a result, it was the first Splinter Cell game to receive an M rating by the ESRB, an assessment which has since been applied to all releases in the series. Chaos Theory features competitive and cooperative multiplayer, and the cooperative mode expands play by allowing for two agents to play through a unique 7 mission story mode which parallels the single player campaign. And that brings us to the end of the video. Did you agree with this list? If not, what are your top 5 Ubisoft Montreal games? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Please like this video and subscribe for more from Ubisoft Central.